Dorothy, she sold millions of records, has a shelf full of Grammys, but now she's here to talk to us about a great project to help the, pe the people out in New Orleans. Recording artist Cheryl Crow joining us live from Nashville this morning. Good morning. Good morning, David. How are you? Uh, I'm well. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I, you, for a lot of people here in Louisiana, it's hard to think that uh, Katrina was a decade ago. Um, and, and since then, there have been a lot of folks helping to get that city back on its feet. Tell us uh, what inspired you to get involved mm -hmm. and, and what are you doing to help? Well, I was approached about uh, joining forces with this amazing project and I love the idea of it. It's called Blue Jeans Go Green. And you can contribute jeans that you don't use anymore, denim that you don't wear, whether it's white denim, whether it's embroidered, whether it has zippers, grommets, whatever. And we take that and we strip it down and make it into uh, environmentally friendly insulation to be used in homes, um, particularly Habitat for Humanity homes, which are uh, doing a build-a-thon May 20th. We're gonna build 10 homes in 10 days on America Street in New Orleans, which as we all know, um, is still suffering from the repercussions of Katrina and is still building back communities. So this is a great way for all of us to be involved with helping our neighbors out down there in New Orleans by contributing jeans that we don't wear anymore. You know, as a musician, I know, you know, New Orleans has such a, a, a vibrant music scene. Um, what was it like sort of back then to see all that just kind of be washed away for a little bit? Well, I actually made my second record in New Orleans. I, I, I made it in the French Quarter. I have a very strong relationship to, with the people there. I um, have a particular affinity for New Orleans, the city, for the musical history there, and obviously for my experience of recording there. And to watch the devastation down there, I think, uh, like everyone else, I just felt helpless and and uh, to watch the devastation and the fact that it's still being built back it, it it leaves you with a feeling of helplessness and this is a great way for each of us to be involved in pushing the build back forward we've rescued over 600 tons of denim from landfills in the course of the history of this program since 2006 we've collected over a million pieces of denim we have uh, um, helped homes be built in areas that really need build back um, by contributing our own denim to making insulation um, and it's it's just a great organization so if you aren't able to take your jeans to a made well which will be collecting uh, all the way to the end of the year but particularly in the next month at which point we hope to have collected 10,000 pieces then you can go to bluejeansgogreen.org and find out how you can get denim to us so we can turn it into insulation. Well, uh, I will definitely be doing that after the show this morning. I appreciate you joining us. I know you've got a busy schedule. Thanks, David. Appreciate all, it. All right. We uh, look forward to uh, stopping by in the Arklamis as well one day.